guys, this little, um, wannabe iPod shuffle thing is going to be the topic of this video. This little thing has a power switch, which when you turn it on, it doesn't do anything. A little headphone jack, a USB port, kind of an iPod shuffle-like control thing. But it's not an iPod Shuffle. This is just a simple little MP3 player. Judging by... It wasn't as expensive as an iPod Shuffle. Even though it kind of looks like one. And the way it charges is actually pretty... Is actually not an iPod Shuffle kind of charge. Charger. Charging port. And judging... By the headphone jack, that's not an iPod Shuffle either. Because how an iPod Shuffle works is, its headphone jack charges it, and it also doubles as a way to stream music. But this one doesn't have that capability. Now here's the little, simple little control thing. It looks like the iPod Shuffle's little jog wheel or, or wheel or uh, touch based. Or it looks like an iPod Shuffle. Kind of an iPod Shuffle wannabe. Um, but anyway, the this little thing is just a simple little MP3 player. Now, it's what is nice about it is this. It's got a little clip, kind of like the iPod Shuffle. And... If you look at it, it's actually a decent little, it's actually a decent, it actually is a brand, a decent brand name. So if you look at this, it, uh, it's basically trying to be an iPod Shuffle, but it's not. Now how this thing works is, if I could get the, if I, let's take it with, I need to get the little charging cord to show you this thing actually functioning, but how this thing used to work is it used to work off of a little battery, but that battery has long since expired. So what's going on here is a battery, a, lith a small lithium battery has about, it has a certain number of charging cycles that it can go through before the long since poor little battery perishes, or in this case, runs out of juice. Now there is a way to play it wirelessly, but it is, it does require a cord. There's a power bank method. So, basically, this thing isn't really a very high drain device. So if you got a small power bank and, uh, took the power bank and plugged it into this port here, you could technically, it would technically, you could technically use it <clears throat> in the way it was intended to be used. But, the power bank is kind of inconvenient. It would be better off using a little, using the original battery. Which, the original battery is probably just stored Underneath this little, these, there's two little screws here that look like they would hold the battery. And there is the switch column again. Here's the controls. You got plus, minus, play slash pause. And the track skip buttons. Now... It kind of looks like an iPod Shuffle because of the white and because it's metal. It actually is metal. If you want to, if you don't believe me, go on my channel and check this video out. Yeah. Okay, so in in the long term, this little thing 
is actually a decent little MP3 player. Short term, it's trying to be it's trying to be something the iPod was not. A double sided player. Or a player with a very simple and very common connector thing. Charging connector. And a very simple on off switch. Which doesn't which doesn't make any sense because it really should have a shuffle switch, too. They had room for it. They could have put the shuffle switch here and had like a. They could have put the shuffle switch right there. Or something. Or on this side. Or heck. They could have made the shuffle switch built into there. The shuffle doesn't have to exist on the control, on the little control panel. Now that's actually a button, but it also, this little, this kind of raised or ridged kind of thing, actually makes it look nice. And that's just to turn the volume up and down. That's track... That's forward track and then to go back. So, basically, in other words, this is just a inexpensive little MP3 player. If you don't have, if you don't have money for an iPod Shuffle, it looks nice and it looks like kind of like an iPod Shuffle, and it's made of aluminum, I think. So, basically, that's all, people. That's all for right now. Now, I got one more thing to say. Why does a pause symbol look like a frigging... If you turn it this way, it actually, it actually creates the equal sign. Why is that? And really... The on-off switch is the most simple of the thing. And there's little screws here. And of course, it's so dumb that they had to write the... It's such a simple product, they actually had to write USB. Like anyone, like anyone would really forget what the heck a USB is. I mean, I understand kind of like people who can who can read stuff. Really, it's nice to have that little thing so that you know what that's for. But really, they don't really need you. They don't really need to write the word. I know what a micro USB is, and I know what kind of USB this is. I don't need the. I don't need the, and this, this, uh, clip kind of looks like a little mouse. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. This is a very nice and shiny little gadget. And it looks like it's made of actually, it actually is the first little miniature mp3 player to be actually be made of metal kind of like the ipod shuffle because the ipod shuffle what they did was the ipod shuffle is made of metal 